we're going to factor trinomials and I have a method it's called the tic-tac-toe method and it's basically going to be using the factor by grouping method that I showed before so for example suppose I ask you to factor the trinomial 6x squared minus 5x minus 6 to do this problem we're really thinking of that method I call the AC method first step with the AC method is I take the A, the coefficient of x squared, times the constant. 6 times negative 6 is negative 36. That's my A times C. Our second step is still going to work the same as that factor by grouping. We want the factors of negative 36 that sum up to the coefficient of x. So they sum up to negative 5. Because we're multiplying a positive times a negative, we have a positive times a negative, and we want the middle coefficient to be negative, if we eliminated the signs, we want the larger of the two to be negative. So methodically, we just go and we say, 1 goes into negative 36, negative 36. 2 goes into that negative 18. 3 goes into negative 36, negative 12. 4 goes into negative 36, negative 9. And in doing that, we've come up with the pair of factors which when you add them equaled negative 5. So you can see now that we will use the 4 and the negative 9 because it's negative 5. Rather than writing this out as four terms, we're going to do this in a table. And this is my tic-tac-toe idea. So to start with, the first term, the A term, came was 6x squared. And the C came from negative 6. We found the two numbers that add up to negative 5 for the negative 5x. So it doesn't matter where I put it, I will have a 4x and a negative 9x. So looking at the red, you can see 4x and negative 9x is negative 5x. The way this works is I look across here. So I am going to look across at this first row and I say, what's the greatest common factor that I can factor out? So looking at 6x squared and 4x, I see I can factor out a 2x. Then after factoring out a 2x, I go 2x divides into 6x squared, 3x. 2x divides into 4x, 2, positive 2. So if I write this out, I say we factor the greatest common factor from the first row. I'll call it row 1, our first row. We're now ready for the last step. We are going to use this column. And sure enough, we had that the 2x times the 3x gave us the 6x squared. But now we're going to think negative 9x divided by that 3x. And surely we get that is negative 3. And when we're finished, what we have out here are the factors. Therefore, what we can say is that 6x squared minus 5x minus 6 can be factored as on top of 3. I know that's correct, but one good thing to do is to do a check by foiling. So if you foil it, you guys, you get 3x times 2x, 6x squared, 2 times 2x, 4x, minus 3 times 3x, minus 9x, minus 6. And sure enough, that's our 6x squared minus 5x minus 6. So you did a nice check. And that's something that one can easily do to make sure you did it correctly. Another important part of this, I could have put the negative 9x here and the 4x here. The order would not be important. The two parentheses would be the same. It doesn't matter what order. We'll try another one. Let's factor, example given, I will have you factor 15x squared minus 31x plus 10. 
Our first step, it's this AC method, is we're going to multiply we're going to multiply 15 times 10, which is 150. If I set up the table for the tic-tac-toe, you will see this very nicely. Because in your table, the first term you put is 15x squared, and then we have 10. So automatically we see 15 times 10 is 150. 15 times 10. So right away we know what number we want the factors of. The second part of this is I have to find the factors of 150 that sum up to negative 31. We know that our multiplication was a positive, but the middle term the coefficient is negative, so I'm going to need a negative times a negative. So I'm going to put methodically what those numbers are. So I start with 1, negative 1 and negative 150. Negative 2 goes into, negative, goes into 150, positive 150, negative 75. Negative 3 goes into positive 150, negative 50. 4 does not divide evenly into 150, but then I go 5. 5 goes into negative 5 into 150 is negative 30. We're getting closer. It's not 31 yet. Then the next one is negative 6. 6 divides into 150, and we get negative 25. Eureka, we've got it. Those two add up to negative 31. Now I'm going to put in, it doesn't matter whether I put the negative 6 with the x or the negative 25, it doesn't matter. So let's say I put negative 25x here and negative 6x. You can now see in the red, negative 25x and negative 6x is that negative 31x. Now we're going to look at this first row. In this first row, we look what's the greatest common factor, because it's 15x squared minus 25x. So we're going to factor out a 5x, and then 5x divides into 15x, 3x, and then negative 25x divided by 5x is negative 5. Now, in actuality, we're now going to divide this first column, but we can think of it like this. 5x times 3x gave us 15x squared. So 3x times what here is going to give us negative 6x, and that's a negative 2. So doing that, we're now left with the factors. What we have then is that 15x squared minus 31x plus 10 is just going to be the product of these two factors. And it doesn't matter which one we put first. So if I put 5x minus 2, this first column here, then the other one is 3x minus 5. We'll go to the next page and try one last trinomial. As our last example, we're going to factor the trinomial 4x squared minus 27xy plus 18y squared. I'm going to go immediately to the tic-tac-toe table. So we have these in fourths. And we have the a term, the a one is the 4x squared. The c is the 18y squared. Numerically, our first step is AC is 4 times 18, which is 72. Now we have to get the factors of positive 72 that sum to negative 27. Because the middle coefficient is the xy coefficient is negative. This is going to be a negative times a negative. I am now going to put all the 
factors of negative of uh, positive 72 and I'm putting all of them starting with methodically with 1 so negative 1 negative 72 negative 2 negative 36 I'm dividing these into positive 72 now negative 3 negative 24 there we have it that's the one that adds to negative 27 now I have negative 3 and negative 24 if I want I put negative 24 and then it's whatever the variables in the middle term it's an xy because you're getting one x and one y from those and then the other is negative 3 xy now our next step is we're going across this first row and we're looking for the greatest common factor the GCF here is 4x so I 4x squared so basically I'm doing this 4x squared divided by 4x and you can see that's just going to be x so I put the x there and then negative 24 xy divided by 4x you can see that the x's will cancel and that is negative 6y so now the last one I've already got this right here but I know x divided into this I'm thinking x times what over here will give me negative 3 xy and it's just negative 3y and once I've done that I have the factors that gives me the factorization for this just becomes and it doesn't matter in what order I write these it's this top and this side so it's x minus 6y and 4x minus 3y last example of this method is we are going to factor 5 y to the 10th plus 29 y to the 5th minus 42 first step I'm going to put in for the tic-tac-toe in here I have 5 y to the 10th and negative 42 first step this is a this is C so our first step a times c is 5 times negative 42 which is negative 210 we're now going to proceed to get the factors of negative 210 they sum to positive 29 and this is negative so it's a positive times a negative but because the middle term is positive the larger of the two absolute values will be positive so we're now going to methodically go through and get the factors that sum to 29 so we have negative 1 and positive 210 negative 2 and positive 105 negative 3 and positive 3 into 210 is positive 70 4 does not work evenly but 5 negative 5 into 210 gives us a 42 we're getting closer to 29 42 minus 5 is 37 so we're getting a little closer now we do 6 6 goes into 210 we could multiply I mean divide it in our head or we can say this to go from 3 to 6 you doubled so therefore this would be half so we have 6 divided into 210 is 35 and voila 35 and negative 6 is 29 now in here we put in 35 but it's the y to the fifth the middle term so it's y to the fifth and the negative 6 y to the fifth now our next step is we go across and we find the greatest common factor for those two terms that's 5 y to the fifth 
And now we can say that goes into that. This gives you 1y to the fifth. Because y to the fifth times y to the fifth, you add the exponents, it's y to the tenth. And then this, when divided by 5y to the fifth, becomes plus 7. What I like about the table is there's only one slot left, and it's this one. Dividing y to the fifth into negative 6y to the fifth, we get the negative 6. We now have the factorization. Very simply from the table, we can say 5y to the tenth plus 29y to the fifth minus 42 can be factored, and it does not matter which one we put first. 5y to the fifth minus 6, y to the fifth plus 7. And that's the tic-tac-toe.